Just look at him. Master Angler. Ever heard of it? As the kids say, these lips are busted. Look at this little waddle thing. Boop. Oh, well, if it isn't the baby. Wow, look at all those legs. This is a football. But those lips are busted. Look at those teeth. What? Aww. Every time I find a snapping turtle, I like to check and see if they have any leeches. Let's see if we can grab it. I would have liked to have ended this video with a musky catch, but whoa, whoa, what's that right there? I'll send you to the hospital real quick. What's up, all you epic Fortnite gamers? It's me, Uncle Farmer Dad Ben. Today, we're going to be... Uh, uh, up here we're gonna be taming kevin i got karen and kevin here they're uh it's time to feed them. first i'm gonna give them a little bit of last night's sandwich oops stop nibbling on my toes i have officially trained kevin as you can see the anime is over I've officially trained kevin the anime is complete only thing left for me to do is go fishing and today uncle ben's gonna teach you guys how to catch every fish in the world look at this little boy nibbling on my leg as you guys know i got this hat in the fan mail unboxing and since i've got it i've been such a good fisherman that i got the fish ohio master angler pin whoa take a look at that that's right guys even before youtube i was the best fisherman in the world now i'm the best fishing youtuber by default i like how they just follow me everywhere i am officially the best fishing youtuber in the world by default better than the googans better than john john bingus way better than one rod one reel we're gonna do what's never been done before today we are gonna be catching at least 30 species of fish in one day and uh, these old guys are coming with me okay they made it to the road okay not the safest thing for you guys to be here on the road you can't get in the car you're gonna have to you're gonna have to go back at some point guys no you guys have to go back i'm about to pick one of these boys up booga, 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 booga. back at it again uh, i converted the bus into a into a small a mid-sized truck driving down the road here in austin texas as you can see that's our neighbors today i'm actually going to be catching you guys at least 30 species of fish i'm not going to sleep tonight until we catch the 30th species minnows do count uh, other small micro species do count subspecies count as well for the most part we're going to be catching at least 20 major species as you can see this is a beautiful isolated area untouched by man this is where old uncle ben learned how to fish matter of fact old uncle ben's gotten so good at fishing the spot that all he has to do is just go ahead and whoa it's our first fish of the day and the easiest fish to catch the common bluegill le pomis macrocker it's gonna go ahead and toss him right back into the water our little fish told you it's not that hard to catch a fish <laughs> oh i think i see one right there well well if it isn't the beautiful black crop these are fairly common here, but a little bit easier to catch than bass. So I'm going to go ahead and just let them go. <laughs> Goodbye, son. Let's go over here and see if we can find one under this rock. Oh, I think I see one. We got it. A smallmouth bass. I told you guys I was the best fisherman alive. Smallmouth bass are like largemouth bass, only they typically get a little bit smaller. And they have this beautiful brown copper coloring. They also fight way harder than largemouth bass on a rod and reel. Bye, little boy. That makes three. <laughs> hey, I think I see a white crappie right down there. Let's see if we can catch it. We got it, son. Now you can tell this is a white crappie because of the stripes on its back instead of the spots. Look at this beautiful boy. Back you go. You guys see that? I think there's a fish right under that bush. Now if we snap our fingers, we can... Hello there, little man. If it isn't the northern hognose sucker. <laughs> now in this particular area, these boys are threatened. So we're just going to toss him gently back in the water. <laughs> now I think I see a fish under here. <laughs> Let's see if we can grab it. Hello there, Mr. Longnose Sucker. Now these are not threatened but they're still very adorable so i'm gonna go ahead and let this little man go <laughs> goodbye like i said earlier guys once you reach master angler status all you have to do is just point at a fish sometimes you can catch them oh i think i see one right there well if it isn't the pumpkin seed this one's one of uncle ben's personal favorites look at this adorable baby boy this is one of the most beautiful little fish that we have down here and people really be sleeping on these little fellas oh that makes seven species oh <laughs> and i think i see the eighth under this rock <laughs> Oh, well, if it isn't the baby largemouth bass. How much like the smallmouth that I just showed you kids, these ones are also adorable, but they're a lot more green and their mouths are much bigger with respect to their body. Let's let him back under his rock. <laughs> Goodbye. I think I see a sizable tail under this rock. <laughs> oh, well, if it isn't the northern hognose sucker. <laughs> As the kids say, these lips are bussin'. <laughs> 
Right? The kids say that. But these animals are amazing. Much like the carp, they like to glide around on the bottom of the floor and, and eat all kinds of fun little things. Look how well it blends in with the rocks, you guys. Bye bye, little sucker. Well, I suppose old Uncle Ben just caught every species of fish that lives in that little creek this time of year. So let's move upstream. Well, looks like old Uncle Ben found a free lure. <laughs> Crazy crawly. That one's going in the fanny pack. Time to head to the next spot. This next spot is a quiet little pond. I found this little snapping turtle here. Every time I find a snapping turtle, I like to check and see if they have any leeches under their arms and legs. Because these little guys are very prone to having little leeches under their bellies. Look how happy he is. Okay, we'll get you back in there. Oh, sorry, buddy. Goodbye, little friend. Oh, I think I see one right there. Well, if it isn't a hybrid between a bluegill and a pumpkin seed. Well, no, this may just be a pumpkin seed. This one always has a little feather in his nose. Day two of the me catching 30 species of fish in one day challenge. This is the same day, I promise. Today, uh, I'm gonna be showing you some turkeys. This is my brother, Bilo. Uh, th these, are, these aren't these are his turkeys, but these are turkeys, uh, and they belong to my other brother. As you can see, they're very friendly, and they like to be picked up. They don't love to be picked up, but they don't really mind it. This is my brother's chicken coop, and he made it from all reclaimed wood. And he's single but not for long. <laughs> right, Andrew? Look at this beautiful man. Look at these beautiful boys. Even F in the comments for his beautiful calf. This one's my favorite. So Andrew raised all of these little babies together, including the guineas and the turkeys, and they basically kind of protect each other and they all kind of stay together in the same flock. Some days, wild turkeys will even come in and just hang out with them. Like we have flocks of wild turkeys that live in the woods and all in these hills, and, uh, and they'll just come in and hang out with these guys and eat their food. Look how precious this man is. This is the most beautiful, perfect boy. Look at this little waddle thing, boop. <laughs> Look at this little, look at this weird little neck thing. All right, we're out here at the Geneva Mash. There's all kinds of beautiful things here. Oh, did you see that in the water? Let's see if I can catch it. Well, hey, if it isn't a golden shiner, a new species, this is number 10. Look how beautiful this place is. Now these guys make amazing bait, but Uncle Ben is just gonna let this one go. <laughs> Goodbye, little buddy. Well, don't mind me, just the best fisherman in the world over here. Whoa, is that, is that what I think it is down there? <gasps> Oh, is that the bowfin? Lay epic male bowfin, but you can tell because this little dot on its tail. Look at this adorable little thing. Look how amazing this creature is. Look how beautiful this creature is, you guys. These bowfins are taxonomic relics. Very, very beautiful. I'm gonna go ahead and throw them right back in the water. Goodbye. Yeah, I'm the best fisherman to ever exist. See this pin? Master angler, ever heard of it? Oh, what's that in the weeds? Oh, it's an even bigger bowfin ever heard of it there he goes right back into his natural habitat all right everybody it is august so it's really hard to get trout this time of year but uncle ben thinks he knows a perfect little spot for the elusive late summer trout this a little fancy place called mcconnell's mings or mcconnell's mills whatever you whatever you kids are calling it these days this is a fancy old thing name of bridge ever heard of it where uh, cars can drive through. And a lot of people don't know that you can even fish here, mainly because I don't know if you're even allowed to fish here, but I'm gonna show you guys this really cool little place. And don't even think about calling the game wardens because by the time this is posted, I'll be out of the state and out of their jurisdiction. <laughs> Yeah, this is kind of a normal place up in Pennsylvania. Uh, we got these neat little Laurel Highland-ish kind of giant stones. If you're not careful, you just might slip and die. But look how beautiful this is, guys. Hey, what do you guys think? Should we eat this mushroom? <laughs> Ooh. They sometimes fish get stuck in this little pool here, but I'm gonna go ahead and climb up around. But yeah, so this little hole here is the best place to fish because there's always little boys getting caught in there. Well, hey, I think I see one under that rock there. Oh, if it isn't a little, whoa, if it isn't a little creek, smally. Whoa, oh, goodbye, bye, little friend. All right, it's starting to rain and this spot sucks. This spot really isn't that good in the rain at all whatsoever. I might stay under these trees in this cave to wait out the rain, but look at this, guys. Check this out. This is a little centipede, a little millipede. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? Look at this crazy little millipede boy. Isn't that amazing? God sure is a neat fella for making a little friend like this. All right, buddy. Carry on about your business. 
Wow, look at all those legs. So you can't really catch trout this time of year, but that's just how it is, guys. You gotta catch them in the fall or the spring or maybe the winter. But so far we're at 12 species and this is the same day. Up next, we're gonna get a rock bass and then tomorrow and the same day tomorrow, we're gonna be getting a bunch of walleye and a bunch of other things. Oh man, it's raining. I'll never catch anything here with the rain this bad. Oh wait, what's that? Oh, is that a keeper size channel catfish? What you? never caught one this big john b oh you never caught channel cap oh that's too bad all right well back you go buddy <laughs> i'm the best fisherman alive look at these little dinguses they walked all the way up from the pond oh lord they coming you guys are probably thinking oh uncle ben you'll probably never catch another one of those oh well what's this what another adorable beautiful catfish that uncle ben caught just by snapping that's right guys i'm the best fisherman alive well uncle ben even a blind squirrel finds a nut two times oh is that right we'll take a look at this oh well i guess a blind squirrel found a third nut this time <laughs> that's right catfish and carp youtube channel i'm calling you out all right the rain stopped again and old uncle ben is gonna get you guys one of his favorite fish name of tiny little rock bass boy now if my memory is correct they all live behind that little rock there oh what's that john b you're scared of walking through a little bit of water to get a rock bass yes that's what makes me the best fishing youtuber alive right now you're not a rock bass Grr. Oh man, it's 8.30. I don't know if I'm gonna catch one. Oh, it's so dark now. Oh wait, is that one right there? I believe this is species number 14 or 15. As you can see, they have these adorable little red eyes. Rock bass are very, very pretty. They hang out under all these rocks, pair their name. This guy was actually pretty tough to catch, even though rock bass aren't very hard to catch. They're basically sunfit. There he goes, goodbye. Okay, guys, we're at the next spot now. Let's see what we can catch. Oh, oh I think I see one. Well, hello there, if it isn't the common carp. Oh, such a handsome little boy. Those lips are indeed bus. Oh, I think I see one in the corner. Whoa, if it isn't the brown or, br or black or maybe yellow bullhead. These are adorable little catfish, but this is about as big as they get. Very handsome. In you go. I think I see a very handsome one right there. <laughs> Well, 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 if it isn't the walleye. These are one of Uncle Ben's favorite freshwater fish. Oh, goodness, is that what I think it is? <laughs> yes, it's another beautiful walleye. Look at those teeth. Yum, 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 yum. Love you. Oh, got another walleye. <laughs> Goodbye. Now, this walleye is exceptionally beautiful. Here's a little yellow bullhead. It looks like he's been caught plenty of times. You go, buddy. Aw, oh, man, if only I'd catch a... What? Another walleye? Got another one. Look at this beautiful man. I love how some of them are just gold. It's time to catch something else. All right, guys, now I'm over at Caniad Lake where I'm trying to find a little yellow... Per Ooh, is that one right there? If it isn't a beautiful yellow perch. Now these adorable little boys are related to walleye. <laughs> Goodbye. Well, that's all good and fun, Uncle Ben, but I bet you can't catch another. Oh, what's that? It is in fact another adorable yellow perch. In the water you go. Bro, what on earth is this? This was in the net. Actually, you guys, what is this? Does someone know in the comments? Please tell me, I'm in Pennsylvania. I'm gonna toss it back in here. Look at these little dinguses way up in that field over there. Well, 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 well. Look who it is. Don't make me kiss you on the lips. Come on, kids, let's go. Oh, Lord, they coming. Oh, oh dude, you did it. No. Get out of here. Get out of here. Get out of here. Get the heck out of here. Get out of here. All right, everybody. It's the same day, obviously. Oh, is that a fish right there? Hey, if it isn't a red horse, which is basically just a very large sucker. I can't really tell if this one's a gray red horse, a red red horse, or something else. But those lips are busted. Oh, back in you go, king. <laughs> Goodbye. Oh, is that another one right there? If it isn't the gizzard shad, and that definitely makes... 20 species oh there you go you guys are probably saying oh uncle ben those red horses are really hard to catch they're very rare how did you get that well it's all in the wrist look at this hey see i told you guys it's all in the wrist look at these adorable beautiful amazing creatures look at that weird 
Goofy looking lip. Whoa, I think I see a new species right there. Is that what I think it is? Yeah. Hey, if it isn't a spot tail shiner. <laughs> still counts. I told you guys that minnows still count. That makes 21. I see a big one over there. Oh my gosh, you guys, I'm actually freaking out. This is a football of a smallie. Here's my rod for comparison. Look at that. What? Is that another one? Right. Hey, well, if it isn't the emerald shiner, still counts as another fish. Oh, I think I see another one. Now, I believe this is the golden red horse. You can tell from the color of the gold on its skin. Hey, there's something interesting. This is a snub-nosed bass, and it either looks like this because of an injury. Look how cute this little boy is. That's it. I would have liked to have ended this video with a musky catch, but whoa, whoa, what's that right there? Oh, baby! Oh! This lure popped off the second I got him in. All right, take a good long look, Southerners, because this is the only time you'll ever see one. <laughs> this is the Northern Muscalunge, otherwise known as the Musky. Got it with this little lure I found at North Park. That one's going in the fanny pack. Anytime you find a lure, guys, always pop it on there and throw it in there because you never know, you might catch a fish of a lifetime. Now, Uncle Ben has caught bigger musky than this, but it's still a great day anytime you can catch a musky. This guy's been caught so many times. Look at his poor mouth. What happens is they fall out of the dam from the lake up above, and then they end up getting into this little stream and pool here, and then they get stuck in here. But it's not the end of the world because there's so many fish in here that they can eat. And musky are called the fish of 10,000 casts because they are very very not easy to catch you could be fishing all day for them you could throw 100 lures at them you might never even catch one that makes 23 species in one day just one day look at those teeth though that'll send you to the hospital real quick you do not want to mess with these guys they have very sharp teeth very very dangerous little guy look at this beautiful beautiful man wow so i'm gonna go ahead and revive them real quick and then we're gonna get them right back into the water i'm gonna get a thumbnail pick and then get this guy right back into the water Let's go ahead and get this little boy back in. Always catch and release your musky, everybody. They don't taste good at all. And it's a good thing to do because then the next kid can come by and catch his very first fish at 10,000 casts. Bye, little friend. All right, everybody. It's about time I told you all where Tim Bit's name comes from. This is Tim Hortons. Normally, I'm showing you guys little fancy little places in Texas, but today I'm showing you guys little fancy little places in Pennsylvania and the Midwest and uh, in Canada. Yeah, go ahead. Just cut right in front of me, bub. Yeah, this is Tim Hortons. It's basically Dunkin' Donuts of the North. Actually, it's basically just Dunkin' Donuts.